so that looks good. And from there, we'll extrude it up, drag it over, and box select, drag this to the side. So we want one face being connected to the other. Now, we have one side of our A, but we want to get the other side. So to do that, we'll hit A to select all, or alternately, you could press L. If you press L on any selected mesh that's separated, that does not have any vertices connected, you'll automatically be able to select it. So, actually, we'll select the vertices and hit L, and the whole object will be selected. Now, we'll duplicate this mesh. Duplicating is different than extruding because it will not have any of the vertices connected. So we'll do Shift D to duplicate, S drag it along the x axis, and to flip it, um, there's a button you can press to change the orientation of it. But what I usually do is hit S, scale along the x axis or whatever axis I need to align with, and scale it to one. And we're going to drag it back and hit A and then W to remove doubles because the vertices that are here at the top there were doubles of them and because they're in the same um, the same orientation um, they were just duplicates and you don't need duplicate vertices if they need to be connected and also over here you see that there is a face that com that is inside of the mesh now, to delete the face, we'll hit D and erase faces to get rid of the face. Now, as you see here, uh, we have our A, but we need the cross section in the A. So, we'll hit A to select all of uh, the entire mesh, K, but instead of loop cut, we'll do knife cut. And we'll do we'll do we'll do exact. So this way we'll be able to um, make the cuts, and wherever we cut, will it the vertices will show up. Oh, and it was only able to make one, so we'll do that again. And enter, and there we go. We have our new vertices here. So now we'll connect the dots and to do this we will hit F to fill the faces. You can see that uh, oh also actually um, you can select four if you select four vertices and hit F they'll make a face. If you select three vertices you can make a triangular face, but when you're modeling, always try to keep in mind to to um, create faces that have four uh, vertices connected, um, because it l later it will just come in handy and your models will look um, a little bit cleaner. So with this, we'll hit F and skin faces slash edge loops because we selected um, a a loop, as you can see. It's square, but it's still a loop. Okay? With that connected, we have our A. See? Now, the ro pivot, the rotation center is on the on the side here, so when we hit R to rotate, it'll, it'll rotate um, unevenly. To change that, I don't know how to um, uh, manually change, how to automatically change the uh, rotation center. But if you go and select your entire mesh in edit mode, and then go back into object mode, wherever you change the move the mesh in edit mode, the pivot, um, the rotation center, will will um, still stay there. But you can move the mesh to where you would like the rotation center to be. So see here. And finally, we'll model the P. Okay, so we'll 
do. Of course, we'll add another plane. But first, we have to snap our curse to the grid. Mesh plane. Tab E to extrude. And there we go. We have our one side. Now. <coughs> we need to make uh, our cut again, loop cut this time, and snap it, and we'll drag it up to uh, the grid, shift S to snap sel selection to grid, and now, well, let me maybe we'll drag, drag it down a bit, maybe more, okay, now, we'll select the two edges, and we'll We'll select three ed uh, four edges, I mean four vertices, sorry. And we'll hit E, I uh, know. We will hit Shift S and snap cursor to selection. That way the selection uh, uh, cursor will be right in the middle where we select it. Now, we're going to make a curve here for, th for the P. So to do that, We'll have to create a box up there, and B. Oh, also, if you hit B twice, you'll have a little um, uh, circular uh, cursor, and that you'll be able to draw on the vertices you want to select. And alternately, if you hit middle mouse button when you're selecting, it will deselect the vertices that you move the this cursor onto. Oh, okay, now, so down here in the panel, we'll use mesh tools. And we're going to spin duplicate our um, vertices that was our face that we selected. So now we're going to do, of course, we're going to change the degrees to 180, half a turn, and from there, it's going to spin around our select our um, s uh, c selection cursor. So we'll do spin. And there we go. We have our the um, curve for the P. Okay, so let's say we wanted to do uh, make it look a bit smoother. We would change the steps to maybe 20, and now we have more extruded faces in a circle, in half a circle. Okay, now from there, we'll also do loop cut uh, again. And we'll do another loop cut. Oops. Oops. Okay. And we'll select our vertices. Be a little difficult because I'm just trying to bring this up here. Okay. Now, we'll select the bottom again, bottom vertices, because it didn't line up properly. And now they're lined up. Okay, as we did before, we have double the vertices here, so we want to have them connected. So that so what we'll do is um, select the doubled vertices, W, remove doubles, remove four vertices, and now this will be connected. Okay, and it looks a bit strange, so drag the um, faces on this side in a bit, and there we go. We have modeled TAP, selling the word cap. Now, I'd like to see other people use this exercise, and I'd like to see what they've come up with. So, please leave a video response or comments to questions or comments you have.